Good morning. Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notified of future videos. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. This is round one. James draws Marshall. A little background information. Uh, Marshall is a art teacher at the same high school that I teach at. We're really good friends. And occasionally we like to go out and have some coffee together. And a couple weeks ago, we drew each other. We went to Starbucks and we sat back and enjoyed conversation and coffee and drawing one another. And you can see those images, see those drawings on Instagram. If you will uh, look down in the description below, there should be a link to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and you can see uh, some of those. Uh, you can see those two pictures and you can see others. Anyway, and James is a former student of ours. I taught him AP and drawing and Marshall taught him uh, art one and art two, I think. I'm not sure about that exactly. Anyway, so um, James has gone off to college and he has come back and he wanted to come and see us and hang out and talk. And so we met up at Barnes and Noble. Uh, we sat in Barnes and Noble for a little while and we talked, had a good time, had good conversation. Uh, so we drew for several hours last night. We ended up drawing well after the time that Barnes Noble closed. We sat on the patio outside of Barnes Noble and finished our drawings. Um, and it was a wonderful night because we're getting some of the wind and breeze from Tropical Storm Barry. Um, this morning we're getting a lot more of the rain. It's been raining for a while now, but nothing really serious. Nothing like what uh, some of the surrounding places like New Orleans are getting. But anyway, um, you can see here that uh, James utilizes a lot of color. He just kind of dove right in fearlessly with uh, different colors and everything in pen. And it turned out looking uh, really great in the end. So don't hesitate to take your sketchbook to Barnes & Noble with you and enlist the uh, help of one of your friends and see if they'll sit still long enough for you to try and draw them. It's good practice. Um, also, I recommend, you know, just kind of walking around and drawing people as they look at books. That's always good. It's always good practice. You can take your sketchbook with you everywhere. And so for round two, James draws me. Again, he just kind of dove right in with um, pen. There's no pencil sketching to begin with. Um, and I think this is one of the keys to a really good artist is uh, quashing that fear. Don't be afraid, especially if you're drawing in your sketchbook. You don't have to show anybody. You don't have to be afraid of what other people are going to think. You don't have to be afraid of messing up paper. Um, it's a sketchbook. It's um, supposed to be relatively cheap paper anyway. I mean, hopefully you got a good sketchbook with good paper, but it's not going to be the end of the world if you mess up a page. So let go of all of that fear and anxiety and apprehension and just draw. A couple of weeks ago, me and Marshall went to Starbucks and we sat back and we draw, <laughs> drawed each other, drew each other. And you can see those pictures on Instagram. But when we were drawing each other, he drew me first. And kind of the entire time, I could sense a little bit of anxiety in myself because I was afraid of drawing him and it not working out right. But even though that, that, was, even though that anxiety and that fear was present in me, I had to let it go. I had to I had to push the fear out and start drawing. I promise you, uh, this is a regular thing for artists. Uh, if you're a beginning artist and you are refusing to draw or refusing to make artwork because you're afraid, um, I promise you, even experienced artists who are good at what they do, 
experience some of this anxiety. Now, maybe not all of them. Maybe there's some superhuman artists out there. But the majority of people and the majority of artists, I think, sense a certain amount of fear when they draw. Uh, so th kind of think about it like this, you know, uh, if you've never ridden in a plane for the first time, uh, if you've never ridden in a plane your first time, there's going to be some anxiety. And there's probably going to be some anxiety every time you get on a plane. Because even though you've ridden on a plane before, you don't know what this plane trip is going to be like. Um, if you have ever gotten on a roller coaster ride, you know, there's a certain amount of anxiety and fear that this roller coaster ride is going to be too crazy. And in fact, that's why you get on the ride. Uh, the, the fear creates adrenaline and then there's a rush. And when it's all said and done, there's a sense of accomplishment. Hey, I rode on that roller coaster ride and it was amazing. Well, the same thing is true when you draw. Uh, there may be a sense of fear and anxiety, but when it's all said and done, your accomplishments are what really count. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what if my drawing turns out bad? Well, we'll discuss, we'll discuss that in round three, where Marshall draws James. Um, no, I'm just kidding. If, uh, if your anxiety, I mean, if your drawing turns out bad, well, yeah, I mean, obviously that's not, um, what you want. That's not what you're looking for. That's not the preferred outcome, but you have learned something from it. Hopefully you have learned something from it. You drew, you did a bad drawing. That's okay. I mean, we, we all, you know, have bad experiences. Um, hopefully you get on an airplane and the experience is not so bad that you die or you're injured or that other people die or anything like that. But you get on a plane, you don't always get service the way you want, or you have to, um, you know, spend all this time in, uh, security or something, you know, it's not going to be perfect every single time, but you do it because it's important and you learn from it and it needs to be done. Well, same thing with drawing. It's not going to turn out perfect every single time. And you are going to know all of your mistakes. If you look at any of these uh, drawings that we're doing, uh, that we did last night, uh, you're not really going to notice the mistakes as much as the artist who did it does. Um, I'm sure that the entire time that Marshall was drawing James here, he was uh, wondering about, you know, this line or that line. Is this next line that I put down going to be right? Is this line that I just put down right? You know, there are mistakes and there are problems, but you persevere. And when you're done, you end up with a drawing that's usually what's, that's interesting. You know, that's good. So, uh, and later on, people look back at your sketchbooks. Maybe you... Um, lose it or you sell it or you share it with friends and, and these pictures are um, amazing these are the pictures that people talk about anyway look at those shadows and those that cross hatching is fantastic and it interesting how you can tell the difference between like the cross hatching of a shadow and the hair or any other part of it um, it's just sort of like in your mind it works out um, James loaned Marshall a sharpie so that he could do something to the background there. I'm not sure what kind of paper Marshall's using, but sharpie sharpie would normally bleed through it. But notice how he's kind of flicking it out, which uh, allows less time for it to bleed through. So, all right, here we go, round four. Final round, I draw James. Now, for the record, the picture that Marshall just drew, the one that you were just looking at a moment ago, looks more like James than the drawing that I'm about to do. But I'm still pretty pleased with my drawing. I like the way it turned out. I'm glad that I did it. Uh, earlier in the video, I think I said that, um, you know, a, a good artist, when he can jump straight, to the pen without using pencil at all. And now here I am using pencil. Um, 
it's not that you can't use pencil. It's um, just that uh, the sense of fear is obviously not not as present. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to say. Um, I used pencil because I wanted to lay it out a little bit first before I committed to pen. And uh, I think that James probably just went straight to pen, probably because that's what he had. Uh, I'd brought along a pencil with me. So it doesn't really matter. Just keep in mind that one of the things that you want to do is, again, quash that sense of fear and anxiety. James has a wonderful uh, head of hair, like wispy hair that goes like everywhere. And by the way, this is the same guy that I've drawn uh, before. When he was one of my students, I did several portraits of him while he was in my class. And so it's pretty cool that he came back to visit and uh, came and sat for us and allowed us to draw him again. This is the first time I've ever drawn him not from a photograph. This is the first time I've ever drawn him in real life. Um, all the other times I drew him from photographs that I had taken. Anyway, I was saying something about his hair. His, his hair is usually like, kind of like all over the place. It's really cool, wispy, um, like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's the coolest bedhead you've ever seen, you know, like he run his fingers through it and it goes just like whatever direction and it's pretty pretty cool especially to like draw but it was funny tonight or when I was doing this drawing last night um, because of the moisture in the air and the wind his hair kept getting flatter and flatter and flatter and uh, it was never quite the same and for me, you know, obviously for a lot of artists, that's really handy. If something will stay still and let you draw it for five or ten minutes, then uh, you can do a better job. And not every artist needs that, but um, it's helpful. And his hair, he wasn't even running his fingers through it or changing it or messing with it or anything at all. It just kept getting flatter and flatter, and the wind was blowing a little bit, and so it was constantly changing um, Anyway, just those are my excuses. Uh, I still kind of like the way it turned out. I especially like this little shadow that I did right here on his shirt. Turned out pretty good. Anyway, uh, my friends, I am so thankful that y'all watched. Uh, even if you skipped through the video a few times and fast forwarded it or whatever, uh, I still appreciate you taking some time to watch it. Uh, this is James. And he let me draw him. Anyway, uh, we had a good time. I encourage you to find some friends and take turns drawing one another over coffee at Starbucks or Barnes & Noble or whatever. Uh, there's the first one that James drew. Here's the second one that James drew of me. This is the one Marshall drew of James. This is the one I drew of James. You can tell it looked like two different guys, doesn't it? Here's a little comparison. This is the only one where I got a picture of the model. And then there they all are together. Let me know in the comments down below who you think did the best job. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, come back and watch some of the art project again later. It's your turn now. Go and make some art. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share.